Hello, this is Jamie Shaw. I am a senior CAD support specialist of the Illinois Department of Transportation, and today we're going to cover the 10.10.1 upgrades. And the first thing you're going to notice right off the bat is when you open ORD, you're going to have no workspace, no work set. And over here on the left hand side, it shows all the different work sets that I've created. So if you're in the district, you're going to choose district. If you're a consultant, you're going to choose IDOT consultant. Toy, you're going to choose consultant, you know, etc. I'm going to go with district. And this is the first thing you're going to see is district template, no work set. The way we've designed this is you go to the pull down here and you hit create work set and give it a name. Typically, we are using the job numbers, the name. And then you want to set the template to template for work set. And what that does is set the properties over here on the right side, which I've already got a couple set up. So I'm not going to create one. I'm not going to hit OK and create one here right now. But give it a name. Make sure you set a template for new work set. And then when you have the work set, set all these properties come in. Let me try. Let me do this. This is how they will come in with these these entries right here will be there when you use the template. And once I've got my work set, I've set my work set, I go into properties, go advanced properties, and then I can fill all this in for my project. Give it a description. You see I use the D95875. That's a number I made up for this project. Typically it would be the project number that we use in project wise for internal and I think consultant get a similar number that they can use to correspond with the same project you know give it a contract number contract number should be jive, should jive with the paperwork you got county what type if it, what type of route it is FAP type route scale you know fill all this stuff out if you got a structure number you can put a structure number and then when you hit OK all those are populated so when you open a drawing, I'm just going to open this one out of the blue. <laughs> Give already a few minutes to open up. One of the major changes in ORD 10.10.1 is a working units change. And as soon as this opens, I'll show you. You go to File, we'll File, Settings, File, Design and File Settings. If you look at Power Jetpack SS10 or the previous version of Open Roads Designer 10.09, this setting right here will be a thousand per distance survey foot in either one mile or 10 miles. The new 10.10.01 workspace is 10,000 per distance survey feet in a solid area 10 miles. And we did this so Open Roads Designer would line up with the Open Bridge Modeler workspace. We're currently working on an Open Bridge Modeler workspace and hopefully it will be delivered sometime this year. So with that said, that's one of the major changes to open roads designer um, one thing um, let me go open a different drawing we'll open a survey you can bring open a survey up in open roads that was completed in open roads designer 10.09 workspace and the best way to get it out to bring it into already 10.10 is going to your survey data Go to your fill books, and then you just want to right click on your fill book and export to Bentley Survey Format. It'll create a fill book SQL Lite. And what we noticed is <clears throat> when you use Land XML areas on the curves and stuff, let me turn my data on. So some of these codes here, 
it doesn't or it says none on the curves if you have curves it doesn't seem to hold the the non-tangent it changes non-tangent pc and non-tangent pt to tangent pc and pt and you have to go edit all the survey when you export it out to bentley survey gra graphics it holds all your edits from 10.9 and seems to work really well um, one thing with the decorations if you reference in the survey you can't see the ref the you can't see the decorators so if you have a control point you want to label to bring in i don't know if i have any down through here or not um let me pause for a minute and go check. all right i don't have any control points down through the center of the survey but i have control points down here at the end if i turn on the oops i hit the wrong button it'll probably give me an error right here because there's no VBA annotation. So, I have some control points down there at the end. Before I get into labeling these control points, I want to show you something real quick. Um, if you go into the download that you got off our website, um, Inside the i.cat ORD, there will be an upgrading to 10.10, .10, or from 10.09 to 10.10, .10, and how to create a work set in 10.10.01. So those two documents are inside the i.cat, or the connected version download, to show you guys how to upgrade files and how to set up a work set. So if I go back to here, there's a new feature in 10.10, under the drawing production tab called civil labeler and if you click on civil labeler it's going to open up there's already a bunch of labels in here set up and you can go in and use some of these i've got i've added a couple labels here for land act for partial owners stuff like that and there'll be other videos coming about how to use them so if i go into survey and i want to name my coordinate click on point name field code and coordinate and then I put place and then I just snap to the point drag it out and there's my coordinate point number field code northern easting elevation and I can do go do that on the other end or whatever coordinates I have available that I want to label You just click on it and there you go there's a lot of other things in here for labeling stuff so uh, civil labeler tool and you know figure out what some of the stuff does there's a couple videos out on YouTube on how to use the civil labeler so um, you can look those up another features that I've added into ORD is item types so I'm gonna go to uh, corridor <clears throat> So if you go to Utilities tab and click on the little button here down here, there is item types. Now some of these I have completed. I, some of them I may have completely set up. Some of them I don't have completely set up. I know that I made some changes in utilities and stuff like that. But these pay items go to, let's say, let's use HMA surface course. It will, by the description, it'll go, look at an excel file that's hidden back inside of open Earth designer and pull one of the coded pay items so to demonstrate this and to use that you have to attach it to the corridor 
I'm working on getting it attached to the feature definitions and then that way you won't have to assign everything manually you can just it'll be assigned and then all you have to do is come in and change to whatever uh, coded pay item that you want I've got all 21,000 coded pay items built inside of ORD just delete this table here real quick so over on the explorer tab if you hit item types you see there's different types of item types in here and i was just showing you surface scores so if i pick on surface scores it should highlight it you have to click inside the 3d view pick surface scores and it highlights the surface scores if i want to change the code of pay item number so i don't want that one i want something else it only shows you the ones that are hma asphalt and that's it then you can search for the exact one you want you have to search by description um, not by code to pay item number and then if you plug in a density which is the pounds per foot cubic it'll calculate your tonnage for you it calculates the volume in the area automatically and then once you've assigned pay item or assign stuff to it item types to it you can run a report on it and you can do that by going attach item you know and you just pick pay items whatever you want go down here and you just check the box and assign it to whatever you're wanting to cut a pay item so like I said I've got a code of pay item assigned to the pavement over here on which I'll just highlight it this way and if you look down in here, it has HMA surface course down here. Or you can pick it over here either either way. And it's assigned in the 2D view, the 3D view, and I, I'm pretty sure it comes across in the cross sections too. Um, so I want to run a report for my schedules. So if I go up to reports, and I've added some reports in here that are just to get you started. We can add more later as the software develops and grows. Just click on this, it runs a little bit, and gives you the spinning wheel because it, it's looking for the pay item inside the software. Once it goes through and finds everything, you can hit this button, preview results. There's a preview of the table. You see it gives you both coded pay item numbers. It gives you what the description is, the unit, and the quantity. And that calculates a sum of the quantity down at the bottom. If you want to place this as a table, you can come in and place it as a table. Hit on the seed, hit schedules. It automatically populates HMA surface scores. Go up and drop your table in. Or you can click on the third button, which export it out to Excel. And we'll go to Excel or our file and open it up. Bring it over and it's got your item number, description, unit. You can add the mix name in there and it gives you the density and the design weight. So though those are some of the features I like this one if you're doing right away and you're setting right away monuments you can run this right away proposed concrete monument it'll go find all your right away monuments so for example if I set five four monuments here I know that's not right away but just an example so if I set four monuments here place it as a table run the report places as a table okay I've got four monuments in there then I go replace go in and add six more monuments and then I click on the table and say update from I'll do it on this table I click on that table all tables will have this function go up and hit refresh table from data it'll add the other six monuments in there automatically so these are some of the new features that we've added in so um, play around with it and let me know if you have any questions thank you very much